What are the policy priorities? What are the first policy actions that you would want to see from a Biden administration? Yeah, so President-elect Biden has a uh, $2 trillion climate plan that he announced back in uh, July, and it's focused on 100 percent clean energy by uh, 2050, and uh, I think more importantly, eliminating the electric grid emissions by 2035. So that's going to create, you know, a lot of opportunity to uh, digitize our energy, to decarbonize and decentralize our energy. So we like his plan because it's very much in line with, you know, our own corporate mission and, and values and goals. What is the impact that you see on these this policy shift, which is ex expected to be seismic, right, on not just your business but global energy, uh, supply chains, the overall industry? Yeah, I think it's a it's a it's a great question, and we see uh, these policies actually as accelerating what we believe is already a trend in uh, many of our customers asking us to help them with their sustainability roadmap, how to make their energy you know more efficient, more digital, more decarbonized, more decentralized, and these are these are trends that were happening you know before uh, you know this uh, administration change, but also they're going to actually accelerate now. Uh, with this administration change. Yeah, how much of your customers' needs have changed with this administration and also the global pandemic? Because, of course, we also had uh, the trade war start with China as well. Yeah, I think COVID has been an accelerator, you know, in all things digital. And, you know, we think about supply chains and, you know, supply chains around the world have been uh, severely disrupted. And it's it's from a couple decades of really, you know, optimization at every level, at the labor level, at the factory footprint level, at the transportation level, and, and even at the inventory level. So these, you know, black swan events like COVID are, are really disruptive. And it's one of the reasons we're making an announcement to actually do some reshoring. We're, we're investing 40 million in four of our factories across North America. And these are, these are you know, going to be digital lighthouse factories that really use actually our solutions, our ecostructure plant solutions to really uh, help data be visualized on the factory floor and help drive efficiencies, not only in energy usage, but in, you know, mean time to repair and operational maintenance and all the things that help us make, you know, our factories um, actually cost uh, efficient, s sustainable and closer to the customer. Yeah, on energy efficiency, you are expecting to shrink carbon emissions as well. Just tell us a little bit about the energy trends, the key energy trends that you're seeing out there. Yeah, most of our customers have have announced some kind of sustainability journey. They want to be carbon neutral by you know 2030, 2040, 2050, but they don't all have a roadmap to get there. And you know what we what we do know is that you know we're we're using more of the Earth's resources than we can we can really manage. And you know we can look at the climate events that are happening in North America. You know we've already had nine named hurricanes. We expect you know six more. Category three and above, we have you know significant uh, warming of the surface of the Caribbean and the Atlantic that continue to drive these events. We have wildfires in California. I think you know we have investment communities that want to invest in companies that are that are driving sustainable action plans. So this has really boomed businesses like our microgrid business. I mean, we already have 300 microgrid uh, solutions actively working in the U.S. And we have more coming. Uh, maybe a really good recent example is a company, one of our customers called Packard. They build the um, Peterbilt. Um, they build the Peterbilt and uh, Kenworth trucks, and they uh, actually are electrifying their fleets. But they realize that the grid is not uh, really sufficient to charge. So we're creating microgrid solutions, renewable, sustainable solutions for their charging infrastructure. Annette, you talk about the need for obviously bipartisan cooperation in order for some of these goals to be met. How important is it to have global cooperation? Because here in Australia, we're, we're sort of sitting in this awkward situation where we're looking at potentially one of our biggest allies. The US is taking this very pro-renewable, pro-green, uh, tackling climate change uh, stance, whereas our government here is still very much big fans of coal. Yeah, look, companies have been leading this initiative. I think companies will continue to lead the initi initiative. And I think the administration, uh, you know, the president-elect Biden, I think his, 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 his vision is around clean energy and, and climate. And that was one of his platforms in, 
in being elected, not only in growing jobs and you know advancing economic recovery of the U.S., but but really uh, protecting the the climate for future generations.